good morning students in this video we are discussing about the solutions of lecture 1 means the question answers which were given to you yesterday so let's we start yes beta yesterday you were given three question answer our first question was there define the term resources so students yesterday i have explained to you also this means resources means any substance living thing or service which can help us in any possible way to satisfy our needs is a resource. For example, books. Books are the things, but when these books are used to study or to gain knowledge, then these books become resources for us. In the same way, clothes, utensils, they are also the things or substances, but they are also used by us to satisfy our needs. So these things are also resources for us. I have given you example of teachers, doctors and many other people, those who provide their services to us and these services help us to fulfill our needs. So, beta means whether they are any substance, it is living thing or service, means anything which we use in our day-to-day -day life to satisfy or fulfill our needs is known as resource. Understood? Yes. Our next question was there that is Describe how resources are classified. Yes, friends, resources are classified into three main categories. One is natural resource, means the resource that are taken from nature and used sorry, without much modification. Means the resources which are given or gifted us by nature and used by us for human beings in the same way or after just a little modification. So these resources are known as natural resources. For example, air, water and many other things are there. Yes or no? And second type of resources is there that is man-made resources. This man-made resources means the resources which are not given by nature. But these things, these resources are made by human beings by using natural resources like buildings, dams, roads, means factories, industries, means all these things are made by human beings. So these resources are also very helpful and they are also used by us to fulfill our many needs. So these resources are man-made resources. Yes. Third type of resource is there that is human resource. Means the people of a country are known as its human resources. Means skilled, healthy, educated people of a country. What does it mean? Means human resources refer the quantity and quality. Means the people of a country must more in number and they must be skilled also, healthy and educated because only these people can contribute in the development of nation. Understood? Yes. Now our third question is there that why are human resources important? Students, we have read about three types of resources. Natural, man-made and human. And in this human resources are considered as the most important resources. As I explained yesterday also you that human resources are considered the most important resources because people can make best use of natural resources to create more resources. What does it mean? Means people are the only who can make best use or who can convert the natural resources into useful product and they can modify the things according to their needs. Yesterday I gave the example of water. Yes or no? Like in early time water was just used to fulfill the basic needs but as the needs of the people increased okay and then the people modify the thing means now water is used to produce hydroelectricity also along with the, to fulfill the basic needs. Yes or no? So means people can modify the things according to their needs and they can contribute in the development of their nation. So in this way means human resources are considered the most important resources. Friends understood this answer? Okay, thank you.